New Untold Story, episode 368. I think I got it this time. It's 365. Fuck. You want me to you're exactly reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A new one told story. It's a fresh big untold story. A new untold story. Um, what did you call them? The capsules. Yeah, but you had a, you used to call them like czar or some shit like that. No, 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 that was like the wild card. Yeah, but like that makes, the but we want two Chad. Yeah, I like Chad. I like Chad. I was Chad. just saying that I'm Chad Pennington. Nick's Chad Henny. That's fine by of me. Of course. The My career quarterback's like the that best position. That makes you position. John Beck out of BYU. You really know your Dolphins. Which makes sense because you don't booze. I booze. <laughs> All right, Elder Smokes. <laughs> yeah. Elder Smokes. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> before we get into the Nikki Smokes segment that we're going to try to be doing here, um, Everybody could, if you could just follow Barstool Kush. Yeah, we're trying to get that we're off trying the to get that up, the, up, off that. the ground. Uh, you know, trying to diversify what we do here at Barstool. Uh, it's the weed hub for all stoolies. <laughs> the weed hub. It's the all. not the weed hub. It's the weed hub for all stoolies. Um, I drunkenly had Mook make it a while ago, and so I told so Sass about it. And every one of Barstool Kush's likes is a Mook tweet. No, no, <laughs> yes. no. Yes, dude. Anus, anus and boy dad. Barstool, the one no. boy dad. It like is your anus. own tweets. It's, it's like his your own meatball tweets jokes. from anus and from boy it's dad. An and, and, and his replies to girls. Yeah. No, no. It's an you old had burner. A, which like makes anus. it worse. You like, had a burner to like your own tweet. <laughs> and anus and boy dad. No, which you a, tweeted. What percentage were your tweets, dude? I don't know. It's it, it, if you take like it might be some it's probably 50 oh, 50 del- mook and anus. He deleted them. No, no he deleted them. Dude, no, no, dude. That you blows. Pussy. Get fucked. It was Dating 50 50 to- anus and anus and mook tweets and all of the anus tweets were mook tweets. Like mook in them? Mook. No. Like, no, it was like, <laughs> no, it was like, I, like, like you could tell yeah. from the wording they are mook, like mook tweeted those. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. all anus tweets that you tweet that you penned. And then responses from. Connor Mook to girls and dating back to a year. I know no, what you were no, trying I, to do. You oh were trying God. to get the numbers up. This yeah. is back when if you favorited it, it shows up on people's it feet. It shows up higher. You were trying to go viral with a burner. I mean, I I, I'm juicing it. the numbers for anus, boy dad, and myself. I don't think you can count. There was one boy dad tweet in this. <laughs> yeah, Out of 28 there likes. There was one. There was 28 likes and one Sass, boy dad. Sass has receipts. <laughs> I know. He went right to the fucking likes. I, I know. Like, that was crazy. Well, there's nothing on the profile. You forgot about what it was. You forgot about the likes. Yeah, I mean, the, co- I mean, the coach the took over. Uh, I don't remember. Dude. I remember I was okay. so drunk t- telling Mook to make Barstool Kush. It was like late at night. He was editing the pod. I was like, dude, can you just take a break from that? I need you to like pounce on this domain. It's you texted very, me. I'm surprised I, it was open. Yeah. You were, you were like, I need to get some shit shit off my chest is that what i said yeah <laughs> <laughs> you do that when you're drunk you've done yeah. that for me too yeah 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 i you have just love getting drunk and, and i know mook, counts. i told mook to pick out an optical illusion for the profile picture and like uh something like dissing reggie weed is the header and mm-hmm. both of them he picked were like wrong and so i made him change both yeah. <laughs> to a better optical illusion and a better reggie <laughs> your weed. pick yeah yeah and i like the way i like the um the trajectory of this account let's get high as fuck right now to 420 likes do you want to craft a tweet <laughs> let's like let's let's have it be organic let's um i love how the, the replies are you and blazy trey <laughs> Blazy Trey. Blazy Trey might be your first organic follower. Yeah, he might have just been like, oh, He fuck. stumbled upon that and he's like, Barstool. finally. Finally, Barstool Kush. Finally, Barstool is Blazy making some Trey good is decisions. like a, a weed tycoon. Yeah. His Blazy Susan oh, yeah, brand still... is gigantic. What oh, did... that's Blazy Trey. What yeah. did he respond? Yeah, I know what's, Blazy what's his Susan. Response? He just laughed with the emojis. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was mad funny. I wonder how many people have pitched weed content to like Gaz. Probably. A, I bet you a ton hundreds. of people. Yeah, hundreds. You should start. You should start. Um, Tweeting about how you guys are looking to get uh because we got high back on the yeah back get, on the that, get that back rolling <laughs> revamp it yeah. we're following Barstool Sports Wiz Khalifa Michael Phelps and Laramie Tunsil right now yeah as we should be <laughs> what about Ricky Williams I have to 
Throw that up to King. That's Coach the second Nick. time you've shoehorned Ricky Williams. Yeah. I love Ricky. Yeah, of course, uh, Ricky. You know he got scammed to smithereens, three point <laughs> five million dollars. Oh, that is scam to smithereens. He by got like scammed, a, or he did the scam. He got scammed by a legendary scam artist. Yeah, it's fucked up. Who was the legendary scam? Some uh, Joe a chick, a chick. Oh, something like that. He got finessed by a girl. He got finessed by a girl. <laughs> All right, this is a good segue. <laughs> God damn. We're kind of losers here. We're not good with girls. Okay. Um, and, you know, in Chicago, clean slate, mm-hmm. going out, going out to the bar. Um, uh, you're probably good at approaching women. Yes. You said your body count would make a woman vomit. Yeah, it's bad. Off the air, you did yeah. say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's why I always say seven. You say seven? Yeah, it's like, it's like a lucky number. It doesn't sound too high, and it's also, like, believable. Because if I said if I told a girl two, they'd be like, "You're fucking lying." Yeah, but you say seven, and you're just like, "So what is the real number? Like seven hundred? It's like are you close to a thousand? No, no, I'm not that big of a whore. It's like above. You are a little slut. Yeah, no, I'm definitely a whore. (laughs) You're a whore. Yeah, like I'm I'm in this like whore. You just give that dick away. (laughs) Yeah, no, like (laughs) vomit inducing. I don't wrap it either. I just get tested after. Dude, oh, you're not wrapping. Like third. Oh, dude, Rudy just had the biggest cartoon gulp. Whereas Adam's apple is like out to here. (laughs) I think Rudy Rudy probably has more bodies than me. Rudy's starting a college tour at 30 this week. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he's trying to get puss, bro. You should have saw him at the switch. It's a fucking work trip. It's the Pink Whitney College tour. We got to go to FSU. Like he's dreading it, but like low key he. Can't wait to it's fucking him, pop Tommy, Cialis. and uh, Billy football. Yeah, Tommy's going to get AIDS first. His first leg <laughs> yeah. is going to get AIDS. He's going to get AIDS without having sex. Dude, it'll yeah. be so funny. Tommy yeah. getting AIDS would be hilarious. It would be the funniest fucking thing. That, that would, would be so funny. It would that, that, are you hoping for it? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. If there was an AIDS breakout in the barstool office, yeah. <laughs> we've contained it to just Tommy. Thank Tommy's God. Patient zero. <laughs> yeah. oh, Tommy with AIDS. Season three of the Smoke Show would be so fucking funny. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say. That would like ruin his 30 for 30 or 30 under 30. No, it definitely no, he would get on, would get on it for sure. A lot. Yeah. AIDS really? would help yeah. him. He would probably go trans too. Yeah. 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 That would be Jared huge. Leto. Yeah, go to Dallas Buyers Club. Dallas Club. AIDS and trans. I didn't realize like he really uh, like method acted that. He didn't cut his dick off. But the director. And he didn't give himself AIDS. Yeah, I guess he did. <laughs> what the fuck the, do you think? The director that? never met Jared. He only met. Because uh, te- he was so. Oh, what was his name? Teflon? <laughs> yeah. No, what was it? Ray- Rayon? Rayon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good name. Um, but anyway, back to you and your women. So what we're going to do is a segment here. You, I want you to teach us. Oh, I God. have a slideshow of women. Okay. And each are different types of women. Okay. And I want you to give us how you'd approach them at the bar. Okay. Okay? Got it. So if we could pull that up, Mookie. Yes, and then we'll just... Uh, All right. So number one, this is a woman.pdf. Yeah, woman.pdf is what the So is she like real or? Oh my God. Yeah, okay. You see her <laughs> oh at the my bar. God. <laughs> 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 my palms are already sweating. This one's tough. Yeah, there's smoke coming Holy out. Holy shit. That was the most genuine reaction. Yeah, yeah. my God. Oh my he had to cross his legs. God. He's wearing sweats. Oh the dude is pulsing. God. Like my palms are fucking sweating. All right, That's you a see her at the Is that AI? So no, you're, you're sweating in anxiety? Yeah, like like that one would get me nervous. So you're going to approach that at the bar one. still? Yeah, no, I'd go up to her. But she, like you could just tell by how she looks, she's not going to give you the time of day unless you have money. So I'm just going up and I'm dropping my Amex card right in front of her. And I'm like, let me buy you a drink. Feel that. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. okay. Like that's a Miami ting. What right level there. of that's Amex? A Miami that's a Miami ting. That's a Miami ting. Black. Black? Yeah. You got a black that's Amex? No, I have a that's fake a one. Scott's you have a fake black, black Amex? Amex? Yeah. Do you have it on you? Oh, no, my God. I don't God. have my wallet on me. But you have you have a fake black Amex? Yeah, it's just Specifically like four moments like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, that's and then, and then you like, do, do you have to use sleight of hand to give the bartender your yes. Amazon Prime yeah. card? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually a Disney card. With like all like you have a Disney card? Yeah, I got like Daisy, Mickey, Goofy. They're all posted up. Yeah. Do you tape pennies on the bottom so it sounds metal? Yes. So what? What's, what's like, let's say I see this girl at the bar. What do I go up and say to her? Oh my God. Throw some Jet for the Rizzler. That's so tough. <laughs> I mean, you could go cheesy with her to try to make her laugh. You'd be like, look, that, I, chick's, that chick's not laughing at things. No. Well, that's why I said you got to just like, dude, she's flaunt. going home to Braxton Berrios. What are we doing? Like what? What? Oh, what? oh, I got you. You tell her you're a professional football player. All right. That's what I do. do So you go to like, we're we're in Chicago. You pick the backup quarterback, third string quarterback. You say you're him and then boom, she'll talk to you. But what if I want to date this girl? What if I want to marry this girl? That's not a girl you want to (laughs) marry. All right. Maybe let's scroll the next one then. Number two. 
Okay, so this girl is just fucking straight up ratchet. <laughs> you just Why? walk right up behind that? her and start He's... grinding on her. You just start grinding on her. <laughs> yeah. right. Dude, he is dead right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, correct. She that looks would... back at you, smile, and that girl is going to smile back at you every time, and you're in there like swimwear, and then you just go, do you want to get out of here? And nine times out of ten, that girl's saying yes. Don't waste time with the ratchets. All right, next. This one might be, this one's a little bit tougher, I'd imagine. Oh, that's my favorite right there. Yeah? Yeah, I just tell her I voted for Biden. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> Sass, any thoughts? What What would you do? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, you'd panic. I'd probably panic, yeah. You can't handle all that. No. <laughs> oh, he's right. I can't. <laughs> I can't handle all that. I wish I could. I, that's probably what I would say. I would say, you Is know, I can't handle that. Like, Yo, like, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, if she's like interested in you, you're just like, I'm sorry, man. I just can't handle that. Did the dude just like you fail know. to handle all that in the moment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, just can't. Well, I've had that happen once. Like, this girl had a fat ass, and I was just like, it's too fat. It's like way too big. Like, I don't even feel like I'm hitting it. I feel like I'm just stuck in there. Yeah. yeah. So I just yeah, flipped yeah. her over. Yeah, it was a waste. Sorry, man. Yeah. Waste Sorry. of an ass. Yeah. What a waste of an ass. Yeah, it was too much. <laughs> All right, next. Yeah, let's go to the next. Goth girl. I'm playing Dance Dance. Just go up to the DJ, tell him to play some fucking song that you would you listen to. You just discovered Fallout Boy yeah, like, last week. Yeah, they're fire. He recommended Fallout Boy to me last week. And I week. found him because like he was, <laughs> name, he was naming them on the dozen. I was like, yo, this song's kind of fire. It was in reverse, too. Yeah, and then I just started playing Dance Dance all week. It's like my new jam. So you'd play Dance Dance, but yeah. like, what if this girl... How does it go? Dance Dance. He's right. <laughs> you think that's what she likes, though? I think nah, she more, probably like... I would tell her that like I hate my parents... Um, I don't Plot believe in twist. God. She's like, I fucking love my parents. You'd that, renounce God for her? No, nah, I, I don't think I could do that. But if I had to, I would. Like, that's just <laughs> that's just a girl. I a gun to your head. They're like, you got to fuck this girl. Gun to my head. 3 a.m. in Tally. She waddles. No, that girl's not waddling. <laughs> she uh, She's prancing. Yeah. What does she do? Tiptoe? I don't know. Would bro. You, would She's you, drinking. I mean, that girl's definitely chalice. down to dump sack. So, like, maybe I would just tell her I have a bag. Okay. And then, like, that would just be like the gateway back to my apartment. Okay. I think that's the route I would take. Yeah, she'd be down to dump sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or heroin. Next one. College girl. Ooh. See, I wish some of these girls had like handbags on them because that's my favorite approach. What's your favorite ha handbag? So you, like you if, rob them? <laughs> <laughs> Give me your money, bitch. <laughs> no. Nah. So like anytime like a girl has a bag, like I always go up to them like, hey, it's my sister's birthday next week. I love your bag. Where'd you get it? And then they just start spewing like they'll pull up where they got it. And do then, you have a sister? Yeah. OK. So but even true. if you don't, you have a sister. OK. So well, where would you what would you rank her out of like 10? Solid eight. If I'm fucked up, drop drop dead gorgeous 10. Yeah. Yeah. For so that sure. is one of our coworkers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But let's keep. She, just got <laughs> she does a Snapchat yeah. show. Yeah. Um, no, good to know. Good to know. I fucking knew I was gonna get dogged. <laughs> <laughs> got dogged. Is she single? Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't have HR anymore, right? No. All right. No, that's. You, I mean, work relationships are straight. Have you ever had Literally, one before? No, some of them aren't. No, I mean, no. the closest I've had to yeah, one you kind of uh... fucked up like the entire <laughs> office. So we had a Christmas party and there was this girl there. And what she... were you doing at the time? What do you mean? What was your job? Um, logistics. Okay. So I'd call like used car dealerships to like move their cars and shit. So there was this girl there. She's fine as fuck. Married. Oh. 37. She was married for like maybe three months and she had a kid. And I just started macking her at the fucking Christmas party. <laughs> and we were just going at it, whatever. And then. What do you mean going at it? Yeah, that sounds like bickering. I mean, yeah, you got to do a fight? Yeah. <laughs> I fucked her. Oh, okay. <laughs> just out in public? Well, like, I was lucky because my office was, like, here and my house was, like, a mile there. Okay. So, like, a mile. Yeah. yeah, that's not that. That's not cool. I thought. <laughs> no, I you, you only point let's get across out of here. the street. Let's, yeah, yeah. I was like, let's, let's just get out of here. It's easier if we here. jog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't know she what had a kid. You and I didn't know she was married. Okay. But, um, so anyway, I'm watching a college football game and she starts, like, sending me pictures in the bathroom. And she's like, what are you doing later? I'm like, nothing. I'll hit you up after the game. It's like 2.30 in the morning and she sends me a text. She sends me a text. How old are you again? And like I knew right away that she knew how old I was. So I was like, oh my God, this has to be like her husband. 
So I just didn't answer. <laughs> I would not have jumped right to that. Yeah. And then the guy called me what? five times in a row, like off his phone. So I finally answered. He's like the nicest guy ever. He's like, bro, I'm not mad at you. I just want to know, like, do you have something going on with my wife? We just got married. We just had a kid. Oh. And, I, and I was like, no, we just worked together. And I hung up. Oh, man. I He's felt, a big stoolie, I bet. Maybe yeah. Hear this. I mean, I feel bad. Like, I really did feel bad. This, so he still doesn't know? I mean, he unless knows. he watches his show. Oh, Wait, oh. So yeah. Imagine finding out with this. This guy just just followed Barstool Kush. Yeah. He's the happiest he's yeah. ever been. Oh, no. Wait, I know that guy. He worked in logistics with my wife. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what happened after that? She work? never came back to work. Wow. He probably killed yeah, her. Yeah, she's dead, dude. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think I think dead. I I think I saw a dead body on my way to work today, by the way. <sighs> okay. I don't even... Uh, never mind. Yeah, speaking of the co-worker Did she work things, in logistics? Yeah, she, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the co-worker thing, we were at... Me and Nikki Smokes were at the Plan Brie live show after party. Of course you were. And he texted me the next morning and he said, bro, don't, I got to... do this. He said, bro, I got to stop making out in front of my coworkers. <laughs> That's fine. I and thought I, he was going to say something else. I said. Wait, I got to stop making yeah. out in front of my coworkers? Yeah. I was I mean, like, no, just, you don't. You don't at all. Well, I, I don't, but it's just like, it's like my move. Like the clock strikes 12 and I have to grab someone's face. I every every night is you know, like fucking a, New Year's Eve. You know, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you do do like a bunch in one night. No, I, I usually, I usually night? stay to like one girl a night. That's what I try to do. Have you, oh, ever, have you ever kissed? Your... Have you ever French more than five chicks in a night? No. You don't stack Pussy. makeouts? No. I mean, I did back in like high school. Yeah. Like I remember, I, would try to stack. I broke up with my girlfriend right before homecoming just so I could like hook up with as many girls as I could that day. Just that day. Yeah. How many did you get Six. in a day? Six in a day. So you did break five. Yeah, I thought you meant like five at a time. I'm no. just like, no. Did you, did you, no. did you want? No. What's the most yeah. you've ever done at one time? I'm only one. 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 I stick to one. Five, no, dude. One. Dude, I. Dude, did you guys see <laughs> Nikki Smokes after the Plan Bree show? Yeah. He was kissing five chicks at once. At one time. You thought that's what we meant? <laughs> yeah. As opposed to five different girls at yeah. different occasions in one yeah. night. You yeah. were just rotating five girls. No, How would. does that even work? I don't next. know, but I want to find out. Let's go to the next. <laughs> So she actually works at Arsenal? No. Okay, thank no, God. Where the fuck with you? Ooh. <laughs> you know what side I'm on. Is that an emoji? <laughs> I don't. No, dude, that's a living <laughs> I human. do not. Kyle, you're not. Kyle, you thought that was the emoji? I don't have the my glasses emoji. on, but the face looks like one of the emojis. <laughs> There's like 2% face yeah, there. With the f yeah, the eyes. No, that, that is uh, the no, emojis. That's a good thing. Emojis are like impossible to obtain face-wise. Do I know where uh, she's from? Like what I think you could guess. Yeah, that's why I said area, you know what side I'm on. I would just tap her like, Arizona. You know what side I'm on. So she actually does work at Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> she's, <laughs> she, she's in she logistics. Got, she's in logistics. Yeah. She runs the Barstool Kush account. She runs Barstool Kush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get stoned. Oh, oh, yeah, she did a lesbian scene, got stoned. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how you would approach that girl. I think you just have to propose to her at the bar. Like, there's no way she's letting you hit unless she has a ring. You don't think so? No shot. I, I don't think those gr <sighs> They like, like, a dominant male. Yeah, I know. That's I could see just, like, you with a chick like this. No, you can't. Yeah, for sure. No, you can't. She has, I like, could. a... If you get her a dolphin's burka... <laughs> just <laughs> walking around with, like, TD on her? Yeah. I mean, then I would definitely pipe. You would pipe if she was wearing a dolphin's burka? Yeah, I can't, like... <laughs> Just rubs me the wrong way. Okay. Okay. Next. Yeah, next. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Uh, all right. This is, a, this is a just a classic mask, le Lesbo. The guns in my head. You have to hit. Just pull the trigger. Yeah. You're not yeah, going in with a lesbian. Damn. Dude, Put guys. Down, guys dog. fantasize about lesbians. Is that a guy or a no, girl? That's a lesbian. Is it? Yeah. It was the yeah. first Google result for lesbian. Mm -hmm. I mean, does does she have a friend? Uh, yeah, but her friend's even bigger. Yeah, <laughs> her friend benches 315 for reps. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to risk that. You could risk that for sure. I really I think can't. You could. I don't know. <laughs> like that's so bad. <laughs> All right, next. Like oh, bad man. as in like damn, she's like, bad. Like, she's like bad. no, she's I need to fucking get the fuck out of here and call the cops. <laughs> call the cops. <laughs> like, what like are you gonna that, say to like, the cops? She, was, or we she would risk me. She would risk me. Ah, yeah. uh, I don't if think you were a girl. Yeah. 
Fuck. Dude, if I walked in on you just like fucking a really <laughs> masculine lesbian, I would. Yeah. I got to stop fucking lesbians in front of my coworkers. <laughs> All right, what we got next? I think this is, is this just gonna get harder? Uh, I think it's the last one. Last one yeah. This one is I would be so jealous. Ooh, uh huh. I've seen her in action for real. Where? Yeah, Pornhub. She's like pops oh. up before the ads. You just click it. <laughs> what ad? You clicked. You click the ads. I mean, I clicked on that she's one. She's a pre-ad. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah, she's bad. What was it? Like a game, or just like a video? No, nah, she's just like getting her back blown out. And by, I wanted to just by what? I, by I've Peter Griffin? It, yeah. I don't know. Some <laughs> yeah. other like anime dude. I don't know his name. Dude, I've been getting TikToks for like that Timu shopping ad, but it's like oh, for yeah. Lois Griffin porn. I was just like, do you want to see Lois Griffin? Like, that's like one of the most popular porn stars yeah. on the list. <laughs> Lois She's Griffin's like, a, number 16. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> top 20? Yeah. 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 Lois yeah. Griffin's a top 20 yeah. porn star. So like I... I oh, would, she's got the bag. She's got a bag. Yeah, exactly. So I would just do that trick. one. I'd be like, hey, where'd you get your bag? My sister's birthday. But she's also week. like covered in rain. So do you like. Mm, I'd probably take my jacket off, put it over. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the way That's my. Go. If I would be so mad if one of you guys walk into the bar with an animated chick. <laughs> Is that like your fantasy? I would love to date an animated girl. Me too. But like in the real world. So I'm like walking around just with put her. Put on fucking Rudy's Oculus. Yeah. It's actually Nick's Oculus. Yeah, don't yeah. look at the search history. Yeah, no, I put it on and it was it was like I was in Tokyo. It was yeah. My friend had to return his Oculus. Why? Was he watching too much porn? Yeah. Was do they do they accept returns for that? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's like, bro, just this broke, guy's like coming up stuff. panting with like two <laughs> yeah. carpal tunnel casts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't this want thing this thing is anymore. shot. Something's wrong it's with it. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps on making me Google porn. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's like a stalactite from the Oculus. <laughs> I want a refund now. Dude, Rudy was playing like a horror game and I called him and I was like, dude, if you fail, you have to like watch VR porn get of you getting fucked. And I've stayed up until 2 a.m. to finish that. Did game. you beat the game? Oh, I did. Yeah. All right. Next time you'll have to. Yeah. Get fucked by somebody. All right. Smokes. Thank you. I think we're all better because of this. Yeah. I hope I gave you guys some good insight. Uh, she, that chick is our, our coworker. Really? Yeah. All right. Say less. Wait, real quick. Is she a blogger? <laughs> No. Yeah. She, no. Fuck. She writes a lot. <laughs> yeah, she writes. She's big into creative writing. Yeah. But like serious journalism stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't relate. Yeah. She actually no. helped Dave ghostwrite his Israel Palestine blog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I've been trying to avoid that, but uh, yeah. I, I actually Googled KB No Swag Israel just to see what comes up, and the first result is. Biblical smoke show of the week, Bathsheba. Bathsheba, from, yeah. SFW. <laughs> sexualized the hell out of her. Is she bad? She has tits. Can I see them? The tits carry. Um, <laughs> tits carry. Oh yeah, bear here. tits. Bear tits. I have I have some old tweets from you. I want you to help me ex um, help explain them to me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm fucked. <laughs> Not like that. It's a quiz, actually. All right, let's 2022 go. recent. My girl just made homemade gnocchi. Yes. And it was fire. Yes. What was the next logical conclusion you came to? As in, like, you said, should guess I it's marry time, this girl? Guess it's time to what? To marry her. No. <laughs> guess it's, it's time close. to what? Oh, like, so I said something after you that. You said my girl just made homemade gnocchi. Uh huh. And it was fire. Uh huh. Guess it's time to wife? No. Fuck? No. <laughs> Close or no? You're getting warmer, I guess. Warmer. And I'll give you another hint. You ended it with the the Italian uh, the Italian hand hand emoji. <laughs> That's my favorite emoji. I abuse that thing. I don't know. Knock her up. Oh, it was, it was time to knock her I up. I tweeted that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a legend. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, blank. This was from 2016. Blank. Oh God. <laughs> was a bigger tease than half the girls at Douglas. I'm guessing your high school, Stoneman Douglas. Wow. Blank was a bigger tease than half the girls at Douglas. Were there a lot is, of teases there? Is she a there? famous girl? Um. Or yes. Technically. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Technically. Fuck. She's technically famous. What year it's was not, this? Uh, it's more of a not a person. <laughs> It's like a show. It was Hurricane Matthew. <laughs> oh. mm. Well, they said it was supposed to be a cat four and it didn't even rain. So, yeah, bigger tease than the girls at Douglas. 2017. Yeah. Need me a wife these hoes. No, no <laughs> punctuation. Need, me, Need a me a wife these hoes. COVID mask emoji. 
<laughs> these hoes nasty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that means like these hoes are nasty, like they're sick. So you meant like what need me a mean? wife, these hoes. Oh, you meant dot 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 these hoes. Yeah. Okay. I'm very bad at grammar. Yeah. Shout out chat GBT. But why the oh the hoes made you sick? Yeah, they make me sick. What was the date on that? 2017. Like the month. July. It's around like my birthday. That makes sense. Yeah. 2017. Those hoes were acting crazy in, in July of July, oh, 2017. I was, oh, I was in Tallahassee, July. Yes. yes. Tally. Yeah. Summer C. Yeah, they good luck, Rudy. Goddamn seasick out there. Yeah. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> Leo season bitch. Out, I did not out, tweet that. Out. I did not tweet yes, that. Yes, you did. Three times. Leo out. season bitch three Was times. And he was up for the revenant. <laughs> I just can't believe I tweeted that. What year was that? Three tongue emojis, 2015. You must have been trying that to pipe down sense. in astrology. Yeah, yeah no, astrology, no. The girl I was though. talking to loved astrology. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. So, but you were celebrating Leo season with three tongue. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to eat her box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A poll. My mom, dad, and girlfriend all say I curse too much, especially fuck. Do I need to watch? Do I need to watching my language? I'll give you a hint. In the poll, yes. Dude, you tweet like like the grammar on a Chinese menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know, like, I probably proofread that and was like, yeah, that's In the this one. poll, I'll give you a hint. Neither yes nor no one. <laughs> what, was the, what was the third option? That it had to have been fuck that. Fuck them. Yeah. Who cares? You're smoke. <laughs> 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 Fucking beast. <laughs> I didn't understand this one. Just please translate it real quick and then I'll okay. have you skedaddle. <laughs> There's not a girl at the Doug who can flake more than Jeter on astronomy night. Okay. So Doug is Douglas and Mr. Oh. Jeter was our astrology teacher. Oh, uh, it wasn't Derek Jeter. No, or astronomy. But why was astronomy. he flaking? Because he would have these like astronomy nights and like you would have to go. And if you went. You Wait, what get... nights would he have? Astronomy. Astronomy? Astronomy nights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? That's yeah. what it is? Yeah. yeah. And if you went, like he'd give you extra credit and it was like enough extra credit. So you just get an A for the, the quarter. So then he would like plan it and then we would all like pregame get fucked up and ride. And then we pregame got fucked up and he canceled it. So I probably sent that out. Yeah. How how to do likewise to the people. You were getting dog, like, like lots of likes back, back was in I? 16. Yeah. Was are you Twitter on the big for high school? Alum, are you a notable uh, alumni really. at Stoneman Duck? Yeah, definitely. Top. Yeah, like top five. Top five? It's oh. like Anthony Rizzo. David Me. Hogg. Yeah, dude. I think you got Hogg there. I think there. you got the, like, at that least That guy's a little fucking rodent weasel. <laughs> you went to the same high school as David <laughs> Hogg? I was, yeah, David I graduated Hogg. the year the, after the yeah. show. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'd slap yeah. that kid if I ever saw him. He's a fucking Good on pussy. you, man. You're talking Good about... You to take a stand. He was a liar. David right? Hogg. Didn't he lie? Fuck he wasn't actually there? Okay. Nah, he did go to the school. Yeah, but wasn't he not at the school when it happened? Yeah, he was graduating. He, he I, don't, I don't know if he was in my class or a year younger. If he was a year younger, he was there. If he's my age, then he wasn't. You've seen some things in your short life. Yeah, I've seen a lot of things. But how many winning Dolphins coaches? Suck my dick. That was There's been 14 up. ever since the 60s. 12 in your lifetime. That's not bad. Two with winning records. Oh, that's coach. bad. Mike McDaniel. One is Todd Bowles, who was two and one. I didn't even know Todd Bowles was a coach for the Dolphins. Were you I born in 99? Yeah. Then you saw Jimmy Johnson as well. Jimmy Johnson, Don Shula, Mike McDaniel. Brian Flores. Brian Flores isn't a winner. Yeah, he is. He won 10 and 6. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Maybe one season overall now. Oh, no. Uh, overall, winning about records. overall. I'm talking so about So there's like only two. Seasons. I think Juan, what is it? Wanstead? David Weinstadt. Yeah. He's the boy. <laughs> he was the boy. Mm. Yeah. And there was a Tony. <laughs> Tony Soprano. There was a Tony Soprano. He died. He right, died dude. like Gandolfini. His yeah. son is Anthony Jr. What? And he was a dolphin. And his, yeah, Tony Soprano. <laughs> Tony Soprano was a dolphin. And yeah. his daughter is uh, like a French pastry chef, world renowned. Really? Which is something Meadow would do. How do you know all this stuff? I just, you know, read the dolphins page. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like, get thank, out of here. Thank you, Smokes. Get out of here. Thank you, Smokes. Legend. We'll, uh, we'll have you on for more segments. Thank you. I'm going to grab a water. Yeah, go grab water. Do you guys need one? Um, I'm, I'm okay. No, I'm good. I'm okay. Uh, we'll clap and do a little break. Yeah. Um, I'll clap and we'll get back into it. Today's episode is also brought to you by Game Time. Uh, Game Time, you guys know the deal by now. It's uh, 
You can get last minute tickets. You can get early tickets. I'm going to the Bears game this weekend. I got those real early though. Got good ass seats. Sass went to SZA. Um, last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. Easy to find and buy tickets of every kind of event in your area. All prices show up in your total up front. You're no hidden fees. You know, when you're on like other sites, you're like, oh, $65 ticket. Then you check out and it's like $210. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not here though. Uh, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code UNTOLD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code UNTOLD for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Game Time. Love Game Time. Love game time. Tailgate with a Sunday. Come back. Tailgate with a Sunday. time of year for going to events. I always say that about summer, but I think it's now like football. And then when it's cold, you got to go to an indoor event because there's nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's 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 all use the game time app together. Sorry, I'm trying to read the let's ad, but Barstool Kush is getting so many followers. Blown up. But the thing is, I'm not even fucking logged into it, so I don't know why I'm getting notifications for it. Who penned the high of fuck fuck right now? Uh, Mook. Uh, Mook, good work. Yo, thanks, dude. That was a, a Nikki uh, inspiration, though. Well, I told you. To, I, t- right I, t- I Yeah, I guess I just told you to tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> but there was <laughs> a miscommunication. I, so I took I wanted, creative liberties I with high, the as fuck. High as fuck, but F-U-C-K-K-R-N. But he did high AF two Fs, which is way better. <laughs> I think it's higher, yeah. It, it's it's yeah. yeah, you're acting higher. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, I've been trying to dabble back into weed. I have like a pouch of gummies that just stare at me every night and I haven't done it yet. So you're not trying. Yeah, I, it's going to happen soon. I just keep looking at this bag of just gummies. Just do it. I know. I just do it, man. I just did it recently. Much. Oh, yeah, you streamed much. on it. That was one of the worst. You streamed a horror game on I it. I streamed a horror game off. On an Eddie. edible? Yeah. And then the, the stream crashed and um, it wasn't the weed's fault. But it made it a, a remarkably uncomfortable experience. One of the worst, one of the worst ideas I've ever had. But the weed's been great. I love taking edibles now and, and working out. It's oh, like fuck off. People preach that to me. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do anything but lie down and watch shit. Yeah, that's normal. I think I just am like riddled with guilt when I'm high in terms of like I should be doing this, I should be doing this. So then I just like do it. It's like a reverse you psychology. Up, I have no pain tolerance. Denver no. Pioneers, freshman, tw- 2014 and 15, forward, six feet tall, 185 pounds. Rudy Junda. Yes. 26, uh, 2016, sophomore, forward, six feet, 193 pounds. Rudy Junda. Bulk Junior up. year. 2017 for your Denver Pioneers at forward, six feet, 195 pounds, Rudy Junda. Senior year at forward for your Denver Pioneers, 5'11, 196, <laughs> Rudy Junda. <laughs> Fatter and shorter. <laughs> that's, all, that's on the roster that's page. The, uh, <laughs> I brought hell to the person that did that. I did not hey, shrink. Hey, out here. I did not shrink. <laughs> hey. I did not shrink. Who did also, that? 5'11 is not a real measurement. Hey, no one's 5'11. What are you talking about? You what? were? Senior year. 5'11 is not a real. <laughs> no one's 5'11. Yeah, yeah. You're saying everybody definitely hey, 5'11. No, they're no, no, not. No, My I dad's 5'11. Hey, I'm not He's not. Down here. Yeah. No. Coach, what are you doing in. right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> nah, you just, you're, we're all in the fives. No, I'm six. Yeah, That's yeah, you're works. the five. I'm six. You're five You've seen the memes? No, I'm not. I'm six foot. On my by the U.S. government, I'm six. You got feet sixes tall. and five. Yeah, but the U.S. government doesn't really keep good track of that. No. Oh, they don't. They're not very strict. No, about you can just say it. Yeah. You can just say it. I'm six feet tall. I for, to be a dude. I'm just saying. Line the is, most recent time you got your height checked, you were on five. record. So what? What was your? What was your issue with it? This person measured measured you, right? No, they just, someone I think was fucking with me. Well, you someone probably, oh, let's you fuck with them and make like, them two uh, inches shorter. Yeah, that was, yeah, I don't know. I, well, wait, two inches. One inch shorter. That's actually what I fucked up in high school. I thought 5'12 was a real measurement. Brother, keep some things to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, help, you're not doing yourself any yeah. favors. I thought it was, I thought it went 12, then the next one. So I said, I, all of high school, I, just, I kept saying I was 5'12. They probably thought you were funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was laughing. I was like, I don't know why that's funny, but yeah, that's ridiculous. You shrunk an inch and from junior senior did you get shorter skates no hey put me in coach <laughs> i was saying that. that's tiny ass rudy i was I'm saying that 
Yeah, that's a pretty you good. You can't touch me. <laughs> I know you don't hear. I'm five eleven. <laughs> you can't do this. Just like juggling uh, gumdrops. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, he's skipping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wrote a leaf on a breeze into practice, <laughs> like a whimsy little gnome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got. I actually finally did play my senior year, so maybe that was. I want to be a streamer, coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they probably had to. They probably had to give your actual height. You're like enough fibbing. Yeah. yeah. If he's going to play, we got to be honest. <laughs> coach, That's why aren't you playing yeah. Junda? I don't play liars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, coach. You're going to be honest this season? <laughs> About what? I'm surprised he like brought you. He probably brought you into his, into his office. Like, No, he did a film session in front of the whole team. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, this is the cost. And I said, You're okay. short ass Junda. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's you playing hockey. John, I'm sick of sticking my fucking back out for you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep on. You can't keep on getting away with this. John, sit down. You're a good kid. You know that. Thanks, coach. Uh, have you been completely honest with us? Whatever do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> that is something a five eleven dude. Yeah, yeah. Whatever do yeah, you dude. mean? <laughs> what well, tiny ass five oh, eleven dude. I uh, I've been commenting on that Yu-Gi-Oh card artwork page. A lot, yeah. But I had a panic because I was doing it at the bar, and I just responded "shit" with a bunch of eyes. Of course, I've been, to, uh, you've been in your bag with that one. I've been in my bag with that one a lot, <laughs> and uh, something happened with Instagram. But like when I like, I must have it reloaded as soon as I hit comment. So I just commented on this chick's post and said "shit." And I, <laughs> and I was panicking. And he, <laughs> what? That probably what? Did you delete it? Yeah, I deleted probably it. Would work. But then I and then I messaged the girls like, "Hey, I meant that for like a Yu-Gi-Oh card." <laughs> like, it, oh, it, I didn't yeah, get a response. Of I didn't get a response. <laughs> Yeah, because that's probably more weird. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think so. Oh, well. Um, what episode is this, Kyle? 365. Three, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, we didn't start at one. <laughs> we started at like 210. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jesus Christ. I always think like, damn, we've been doing this for a long ass time. Oh, Not really a long. No. Well, three, years. three years. Oh, yeah, coming up on three years. That's crazy. One hundred and fifty-five <laughs> episodes. One hundred fifty-five. How are you guys? Didn't we start ours before you? No, no, no. We weren't getting attention until eighty episodes in. Yeah, I don't think people acknowledged it. Hmm. Interesting. They're much after us. Yeah, I didn't know that. I guess what? Are, what I think we're at like one forty. So How's it been? Almost best year. times of your life. Best times of my fucking life, dude. When I'm not podcasting, I'm just thinking about podcasting. Oh yeah, big time. I have dreams that I'm in front of the mic. Rudy, we were having so dinner the other day and he was just like, do you think there's a Sri Lankan podcast? And there is one, Rubber and Rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. What do they talk about? Cars, Rubber and Rice. Rickshaws and <laughs> brain. The, the yeah, description said anything and everything Sri Lanka. regarding Sri Lanka. But I guess Sri Lanka's two big things are Rubber and Rice, unless those are the two hosts' names, like radio DJs. Yeah, I tried to find clips. No clips channel. No. No clip channel, but yeah, I was curious about like I would love to be, appear on that podcast. If yeah, you guys are listening. <laughs> they probably are. Do you think that the, that that Nikki Smoke story is going to get back to that dude? It happens every time. Yeah, it happens every single time. That one's that one's a little rough. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we. I'll talk about he, like the most innocent things, and I'll get a DM or a Facebook message oh, from yeah, that person yeah. every single time, and I still use full names. Yeah. Like I was talking oh, about the best hacky do. sacker in my grade yesterday. I could have made up a name, but I just used the most. I said Schilling Rodocker, the most searchable name ever. He was He's the best the hacky sacker. Yeah, he was. We, we think, was he pumped names, to hear that always, or was he, was he pissed? I don't know, he probably, probably hasn't gotten back to him yet, but he it will. Back to him, yeah. Great guy. He had the best birthday parties. Yeah. They let me dye my hair at their birthday parties. Oh, shit. Would yeah. you dye it? Pink. Pink. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. It was awesome. And then my, Schilling actually choked on a pen cap in music class. That was my favorite shilling memory. He may have been mean to me. I can't remember. No way. I mean, Rodocker, no chance. figure. No chance. Who was your bully in high school? In high school? <laughs> yeah. It was your uh, first girlfriend, Bree. Bri yeah, Bree. <laughs> I caught, yeah. And Greg George. Really? He would punch me in the arm. Oh, man. I'm sorry. No. Sass, do you have any bullies? Yeah, I would get bullied pretty bad. Yeah. I don't want to go into details. No, go on. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! No, it wasn't really great. It was pretty bad. Are you afraid? Uh, you guys talked about it on Boy Dad. It was the hardest I've ever laughed in the text when you were telling us about it the night it happened. Oh, what my when my penis was your exposed? cock and balls were exposed to a crowd of how many? Like three hundred people probably. And you, it, your cock was tiny. It was very. It was the smallest a penis has ever been. <laughs> Any penis. Any penis. <laughs> like it would be smaller than like a tot. Dude, it was like just the head. 
<laughs> it was like a dot. And dude. everything else had shriveled back into my body. So it was just the dot. Little I mean, button. dude, I was hammered and I was on stage. No yeah. one's ever been less hard than that. Yeah. It was crazy. So, it, but you, somebody did send you the video. I did see the video. And? And then the guy deleted it. Was there right enough? Showing me? Just, but did he show you that? Did he show you the he deleted He showed me him five. deleting it. But then did he show you the deleted folder? I don't know. He had like an Android. Oh. He still has it. <laughs> yeah. That shit probably lives on forever. But like there. the thing is, the old, <laughs> the old Sask would have been panicked about this. No, I never really was worried about that. Your cock just being a dot on stage of 300 people is like nightmare. Nah, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think I'm not really 20s, like insecure kind of about my that. penis size. Yeah. I think it's a weird thing to really care about. In high school, that was everything. Yeah. Right. Maybe that, when we were, gro- were growing up, yeah. the 2000s, late 2000s was all about dicks. I assumed yeah. everybody had like a nine inch dick Just other than thought me. for sure. Yeah. I never have like, it's never, it's literally never been something that's bothered me. Every friend group I was in in high school, I assumed I had the smallest dick in it. Oh, yeah. I never even thought, I barely have ever thought about it. Your dick? Yeah. You don't think about your dick? Never. Well, so when it was on stage. It's like an attachment. When, when you saw what the crowds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, like, like Call like of Duty. Con. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Cod Lodo. <laughs> noob tube. Yeah. You got scavenger. You got You're scavenger. You got scavenger. He's just donk. Yeah. <laughs> the noob tube. I just yeah. strap it on. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I have FMJ. <laughs> it's like an it's like having an STD. It just hurts. It hurts more. <laughs> Your cock's OP as shit. Yeah, yeah. I've never really been like a big like. You've never been a cock. Big I mean, cock there's people guy. that like their entire personality is about like how big they're or how like small it is, and they're like they're like they genuinely think about it constantly. Both those guys that, love those showing both. their dick. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Stop. Yeah, I went to school with a few dick guys. Yeah, big and small. Yeah, none of my none of my crew was really big into the dicks. No, that's good. Yeah, we were more um, big into pussies. You're into pussies? Yeah, big time. Nah, not my crew. Not your crew? No, nah, we're like neither. Neither? No, we nice. weren't talking about dicks. We, we were ass boys. <laughs> but it could go eat ass male or female. No, no, just any ass. Just any ass? Yeah, we yeah, we love to observe. Um, nice. uh, back to your the video. When you saw it, like, what was your reaction? Um, <laughs> no, the video was more, it was funny how I just never broke stride. Because I was throwing glow sticks out and I never broke... <laughs> I never like all I did was pull my pants back up and keep and I kept like how long how many seconds was it half a second your pants were down it was like as soon as they went down I just leaned over pulled my pants up and then kept throwing glow sticks (laughs) were you back throwing glow sticks (laughs) it was like a weird it was like a weird show it was Colum's midnight circus show and he like gave everyone glow sticks in the middle of the show the crowd started throwing the glow sticks at Colum that's awesome and then I collected a bunch of them and we went out at the end to throw them back at the crowd that sounds like you were having a blast it was a great time yeah Yeah, it was fun so you pulled your pants back up while gripping glow Glow sticks. Yes. So did your cock have like a green aura? Uh no, it was bright as hell. You're like, it was just <laughs> oh, yeah. like, yeah. the house like yeah. illuminating yeah. the cock. Yeah. I mean, there was the a spotlight on my dick. Yeah, Wait, no shadow. Oh, yeah. 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 Sass, you also mentioned that it took you a second to realize your dick was out. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I just felt a cool breeze. Yeah, it feels I feel pretty good. I had no idea. And then all of a sudden I just looked down and my dick was out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had, I felt it on my ass and my balls first. But then the, but the dick was in well, the, the dick was the dick was turtle shelled, so it never really right. Right. It was sheltered by the rest of your skin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. I'm it was, just happy that I shaved. <laughs> well, I like shave my pubes like once every like six months and I shaved them like a week before. Like down to the down to skin. You get skin fade. A little skin fade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I was happy I did that because if it was full bush, it would have been a lot. I would have been more embarrassed. If <laughs> People might have thought bush. you just had a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it was full bush, you wouldn't have even been, you wouldn't have been able to see my dick at all. Like a Mike and I glued yeah. to a yeah. koosh ball. Yeah. 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 Cause it was, that was, I was happier that it was shaved. Think of like the, li- like dick size. Was it like the lid of like a Carmex? Dude, it was lit. I don't even know. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It was literally just like a dot. <laughs> that was it. It was like a clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. What was the crowd reaction? Done. Dude, they didn't give a shit. Oh, your dick was so small you couldn't react. They didn't care. It's just because those crowds are so cool. They were like, oh, that's standard. Yeah. Like we expected to see someone's dick tonight. Didn't some crazier shit happen at Skankfest though that like, was it, wasn't there something worse that happened? Uh, Joe DeRosa like fucked a trans girl. Okay, that's I I was watching the Shane's podcast. Yeah. You came up. I won't mention that. Yeah. uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You had a good time, dude. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun. (laughs) Um. So this dude, the whippets thing, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's well, I don't really give a shit about that. So fucking what? Yeah, I did. A, I did a, a whippet one yeah. time, and everyone's like, people. I was saying it on our podcast that like, 
they talked about it and then everyone was like, I would tweet something and the replies would be like, I was like, uh, anyone have any like good fishing spots in Portland? And people would be like, have you ever tried whippets before? <laughs> oh, like yeah. trying to like expose yeah, me. Try, I was like, dude, it's you're not. An adult. Yeah. I tried um, going hard on them once. I don't understand them. It's like, do you want to have bronchitis for 10 seconds? Yeah. yeah. I did it one time and I was like, yeah, I'll probably never do that again. Yeah. Um, if you want to listen to Son then. of a Boy Dad, you can find them uh, <laughs> buried in the likes of Barstool Kush. <laughs> yeah. like you just got to weed through the yeah. Mook and Anus really tweets. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there, though. There is one. You gotta, yeah, it'll be like a, it'll be sick if you find it. Not God, many. Have. God forbid I fucking dog it out here and pump the anus numbers. <laughs> <God forbid. laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're just straight up ignoring what we're saying. I don't no, know and he about. kept on being like, there's Boy Dad and Anus in there. There's one boy dad tweet and like three anus and then the rest are just mook. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I love mook. That's why I love yeah. mook. He's a ride or die for us. He's a ride or die for us. Fucks with you a little bit. Um, a little. A little. And then. Um, not heavy though. Definitely ooh, not, not heavy. heavy. Not heavy. Definitely not heavy. <laughs> and then he's a big fan of his replies to girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's one that I didn't, like, wait, I didn't know that was a reply joking. to a girl. Yeah. yeah. Not even joking, you there should you should feel some amount of shame. <laughs> Honestly, I think yeah, I'm there, feeling it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, should there be some you sort of should be embarrassed. Should we tell Gaz? Going over to the burner to like a reply to a girl <laughs> is insane. Insane. Did you think like the girl would want to fuck you more if Barstool Kush liked your tweet? <laughs> just I'm just trying to juice numbies off. <laughs> yeah. Right. I want you to keep doing that. Who's this popular guy that responded to my tweet? <laughs> Crazy. He was you know like he, in, he was like in replies to big cats like like he replied to a big cat tweet and liked it from the burner. Yo, chill, oh. Sass. Oh, yeah. Now it's like, were you in your head? Were you yeah, like, I'm probably gonna get a raise when big cat sees these numbers? <laughs> Mook, come back. I would rather my cock be shown on stage yeah. and somebody oh, find yeah. that out about oh, yeah. me, dude. Yeah, what? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to build the brand. All right. I don't blame you, man. You guys don't know what else. I don't I know, blame you, man. Though, I'm, I'm juicing numbers on YouTube. I'm juicing numbers on TikTok. Uh, I'm, yeah, you're the best. You're the best. We, well, we love you. Our account's us. grown exponentially since you've mm. been on board. I just want to know how many more burners you've been doing that for. <laughs> oh, thousands, brother. <laughs> really? No, I have like I have a couple. Do you ever like uh, rage tweet from them? Like, no. Do you ever talk? No, shit? I never like tweet from them. It's just always like, oh, this tweet needs some more love. NBA players love burners. They should just use their regular ones because it'll be way cooler it's if funny. it was just like, yeah. oh shit. DeMar DeRozan fucking hates this dude. Yeah. I'm about it. I don't, I've never had a burner, actually. Kind of want one, though. Yeah, I haven't had one either. I wish I did, though. I guess I have like I have like five Reddit accounts. Do you actually? Yeah. Just so you can downvote shit? Uh, yeah. I, I, I guess I, I am only logged into one, but there was one. <laughs> there was one oh, no. post that someone posted like a year ago and I fucking made like 10 accounts and got that shit deleted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had one of those. It was too. about me saying something nasty on stage. Really? Yeah. And I fucking got rid of that. How nasty? A hundred times. It was fine. It wasn't bad. Would you be looking back? on? It, it didn't matter. Would looking you be back afraid if it. the community that it was about found it out? Um, no. Was it a community that could beat you up or would they be a little bit prissy about it? <laughs> <laughs> it, it really wasn't a big deal. It was just at, at the time I thought it was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a bigger I, deal. I have a lot was. of, I have a lot of those moments yeah. as well. And then you realize that didn't matter at the, all. No, it never really does, but you never really want to be the focal point of a Reddit post. No, never. Oh, no good comes with that. Um, I was going to mention one. Oh, Mook's on Mook running the socials. He's doing a great job. Me and Kyle and Rudy have been and Mook have been really big into hacky sack. And yeah. Mook's just filming us hacky sacking. And one dude fucking hates it. Oh, it yeah. is like, who's this? Hey, oh, what, oh, I got to find. Yeah, this. you got to read the response. Second. This dude, it ruins this guy's day to just see us hacky sack for three seconds. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a weird thing to get mad about. And I'm putting like dumb edits over it. It's like the baby songs. Yeah, and, like, he's anti sack. Yeah. He's anti sack. That makes me want to hack you harder. I know. Yeah. You got to use that as fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Find your anger. Uh, I want to drive this guy to the edge. Yeah. Because he probably is trying to sack and he can't. That's what That's it probably is. Usually he's probably usually comes dropping sack. Jealousy. And, and with him. He was like a veteran. Yeah. True. He might be a pro I've been sacker. like bringing my hacky sack everywhere. Yeah. I don't go many places. Dude, but I, 
I caught myself like reaching for it in line at the grocery store. I was like, oh, fuck, I can't. Yeah, I pull it out <laughs> whenever I couple. do something whack. You could get a quick 10 piece in. I could get a real yeah, quick 10 real piece. Yeah. 10 piece, 12 piece, 20 piece. Just to scratch the I just the did itch. like a 39 out there. I did a 30. I, I, need but someone I, could, to, I always I would need someone to be watching. At oh, time. yeah. Whatever you just get, I'll get, get one more. Well, yeah. yeah I mean, no one's going to believe you if you get 120 and no one sees. No. Oh, Do you want to hear the DM? Yeah. Okay, so it's just like Nick and KB hacky sacking with a dumb edit. He goes, this is fucking embarrassing. Quit pushing out this whack shit of King Nicky, you fucking slur. Whoever runs this account. Slur oh, so he's it. on your side. No. He says King Nicky. He doesn't, he's I think he's looking you. out yeah, for so yeah, yeah, he's hating he's on like, me. Stop making Nicky Because Mook whack. is coming up and just be like, yo, can you hacky sack for TikTok? No, I'm, I'm not like, saying that. I don't that. feel like yeah. hacky sacking, no, man. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't put that shame on me. So that guy called you an F slur, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah. Classic. Because you're making me hacky sack on camera. Yeah. Listen, buddy. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, he's kind of adding up. <laughs> I'm not making it. I'm not making anyone that hacky is the, sack. That honestly is the proper use for the F slur. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm not making anyone hacky sack. If there's sack. one way to use it, that's how you should be using it. <laughs> I hope this guy's in like middle school. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. A bundle of sticks and slash or a guy who forces his coworkers to hacky sack. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the two uses for it you guys are sacking all day long I'm I not love, telling you dude I know sack. you're not telling us this guy isn't I want to do a hacky sack edit probably let's do our meanest edit yet um, yeah we can do with that. uh us hacky sacking with that comment over top of us or can we be hacky sacking the comment can you have it? Oh, like, oh I like that. Yeah. Like yeah. That. that guy will go spiraling. I'll figure out the tech for that. And I, wanna, I want edit. you to film me getting 100 and then I want you to post it in slow motion. Got it. Down. How long would an 100 piece take in real time? Probably about 1.4 seconds a sack. So it what? It You're kicking higher than I It am. depends if you do high kicks or not, KB. I don't do high Maybe kicks. Maybe less than, yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I could get, I'll get 100 today. Have comment. you hit 100? In, I hit 99 in eighth grade. Uh, okay. You pro you didn't know that? I did not know that. I hadn't heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that hadn't you know. made its way out to New York yet. Kyle thought he beat, Shel <laughs> Kyle thought he beat Shelton Shy's record. And I did. Yeah. We had different recesses. No, we didn't. I was only a year older. This was that. in sixth grade. Uh, I was in seventh. Fifth and sixth had different than seventh and eighth that year. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> well, you weren't hacky years. sack. I remember your hacky sack. It looked like an alien eyeball. I had an eight yeah. ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, a new untold story is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? Like you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it? Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back. So if you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Uh... The better helps the best. Rudy uses it. Sass uses it. Look at them. They're doing just fine. Truth thriving. Uh, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched on the licensed therapist, and switch to therapist, no additional charge. If you're listening to Anus, I'm sure you're depressed. Mm -hmm. um, any podcast, really. Mm -hmm. So try BetterHelp. Uh, make your brain your friend. Visit betterhelp.com slash new. To get 10% off your first month, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash new. I wonder why they wanted me to spell out help, but not better. I think that's the harder word to spell of the two. Both very easy. I think they're Shouldn't probably missed <laughs> by anyone. You see they're doing a collab with Israel? Who? BetterHelp. <laughs> Did you keep on <laughs> No, they really are. Yeah, they are. They're giving away yeah. free therapy for Israel. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good for them. They're collabing. They are. Yeah. That new BetterHelp X Israel dropped. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Spelling is hard. Better. Uh, what? I bet you better is more misspelled than the word help. Why? You think people are thrown in an O? Yeah. yeah. That's like a different type. Like, yeah. but like help you cannot misspell, I don't think. No. No, it's, but, that would be nearly impossible. Yeah. But I'm judging the same intensity if you misspell better. There's no mistake you can make. I don't even know how you can misspell. -E yeah, B-E-T-E-R. B-E-D-D-E-R. Better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like right. help, I don't try to misspell help. There's no, there's no other way. No. It's yeah. crazy what like nerves can do to you. <laughs> I, I misspelled graph. G-R-A-F-F. -F. I said F-F. -F. Oh, that's I was horrible. a bright, borderline savant genius student. I know. Fifth, sixth grade. You, and I'm, and did, I, how many science fairs did you win? 
I did. You won. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's yeah, me. That was Four you. in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Four in a row. What was your project? What, what, what do you mean? Volcanoes. My first one, zero. My first one was just Judaism. Damn. Yeah, because I went to a Catholic school and people were just like, they were crowded around my board. They're like, what the fuck is this? That, that was science. Yeah, it was science for us. <laughs> Judas, Judaism. That's Mine crazy. So I was bought bad. mitzvahs, I believe. What do you mean you won? I don't know if we had a, a first, second, third. Sure you did. did. Sure did. So, uh, so I got superior. I got superior ribbon. with a first ribbon. My mom did all mine. And she went all out. <laughs> yeah, my mom did mine too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're, you had to like have an even way to do it because I remember Logan Seidler's mom made him the Moundsville Penitentiary, but she made it out of like actual little stones and it was like. Perfect. I remember that and, now. Yes, it was sick. He only got a good. So it went good, excellent, superior. I think I remember that controversy. Yep. And he stormed out because it was like amazing. But the, did they like do that because they knew his mom made There was no, Logan was not a crafty guy. Yeah. Did you ever do, was anyone, did anyone, anyone ever do the volcano? He was my quarterback. Uh, we had one girl do a volcano and it was really sad because she was not wealthy. Uh, she was really, really poor. And so she made it just not even out of paper mache. Yeah. She couldn't afford mache. It was just paper. <laughs> so oh, it was, yeah, it was no. like straight up 2D drawn on a piece of loose leaf. <laughs> yeah. And that was like, you couldn't add baking soda to it. No lava. Like, no lava. No, lava. no she got a red crayon. No, she didn't even have a red no crayon. Yeah. The red crayon was down to the nub. So she had to use that red violet for lava. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and no. it was done with a rose art crayon. Rose art, what is off red, <laughs> fake red. Yeah. yeah. So, so somebody did do a volcano, but that shit was flat on loose leaf. That sucks. Yeah. That, that the science fair was just how much does your mother love you? How much does your mother love you? And <laughs> and how and what is your family's socioeconomic? Class? It, was, it was so fucked Cause up. Because Greg Armstrong made a fucking hover train once, and then like the dude next to him did what is goop? What <laughs> I was just oh, yeah. about to say what is goop? It goop was, was a big gray. One. It was gray. It was a bowl of gray. Mush. His, hypo yeah. hi his hypothesis <laughs> was I etched in my brain. <laughs> it was, he wrote it in pen. It yep. was like he couldn't fit the pee and goop. Yeah, so we've talked like about this on the podcast. We before. have. Yeah, he couldn't afford it. He didn't like uh, also the kids that could afford like the headers on their boards. And some people just had to write the title on the board. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. sad, dude. I don't remember if I ever did a science fair. You would remember if you, you did. It was remember. a big day for yeah, us. Probably, All the priests in our school were the judges. Fucking Father Dennis. Oh, so they probably hated the Judaism. No, one. they were just, they, they, <laughs> they, Judaism. My hypothesis was that it sucks. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs> hypothesis. In conclusion. Not real. <laughs> oh, man. And they're like, very good. Very good. Standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> that Nick guy is going places. <laughs> We went to a Catholic school and I remember when we like did a church tour once and they said if you sat in the priest's chair, you had to become a priest. And I did it because I wanted to be a priest in like fourth grade. And I, it kind of weighs on me still that I didn't do it. Like, I wonder if like I'm going to go to hell because well, they in the were chair. saying that shit. Yeah. They lied to us. I know. Yeah. They just didn't want us to sit in the chair. That we were terrified of that. Chair. Yeah. Shit. You guys I'm, went to a really Catholic school. Yeah. I didn't know that. Like our, our principal was a nun. Damn. Two, our last two principals were nuns. Sister Kathleen Dimensions. She was wider than tall. She was. Yeah. But she wasn't Dean like. Is all hell. Isn't that a sin? You would Being think. wider than hell. Than <laughs> yeah. Tall? yeah. It's a mortal sin. Isn't being be. fat gluttony, a sin? <laughs> yeah. Sloth and gluttony. Yeah. yeah. It's a deadly sin. It's, it's literally. One, she has two of the. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll, yeah. It's a mortal sin because it'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. Dude, I'll, who was your favorite teacher? Um, I like Mrs. Loafman. So Science. we had some weird ass names. I, yeah. Mrs. Loafman. Yeah. She showed us her s disgusting surgery. Which yeah. She, she made, made us, us watch, watch her, her back surgery, surgery on with, like the incision. Yeah. She was That's a science insane. teacher. She made us watch her back surgery. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had some weird. We had two Mrs. Romantics spelled differently. Yep. Mrs. Hillberry was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. She was the typing teacher. Yeah. We had to type out the full. This is how old we are. We had to practice typing out the full website name, like HTTP. HTTP yeah, yeah, slash. I had to do that. You yeah. had to do that. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. Did they take a, a piece typing of paper class of your fifth keyboard? grade? Yeah, so we had look. the. We had like they built. They had these like just things that would go right over it. Yeah, I was fucking great at it. Do you remember your password to get in your computer? Mine was pencil. No, it was change me one, was two, pencil three for too, a while. I swear to God, shut the fuck up. It was either mechanical <laughs> pencil or pencil. Was everybody's yeah. pencil? I think everyone's was pencil. God damn, I kept that shit. I was mm -hmm. I was tight lipped. We had a that. lot of music teachers. Mr. Baum. Mr. Baum was awesome. We but were... like Mr. Baum for our Christmas like pageant, 
he wanted to be like a Nashville singer. TSA has got to be a nightmare for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. Do like a terrorist, Mom. like a terrorist, like wearing like a USA flag T-shirt, but he's still brown with a big beard. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Bomb, get him, boys. Uh, yeah, but he wanted to be a Nashville singer, like a country artist. And so I remember our Christmas pageant. It was supposed to be the kids singing. And we just like played bongos while he sang every single song to like everybody. That was his big break. Right. I remember that now. He sang Angels Among Us. Oh, we we thought he was bound for Nashville. Yeah. Man. (laughs) The Nashville music scene is pretty dark. Is it? It's a lot of like people who are playing guitar in a fucking hotel lobby at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone is just like, please stop. You just have to be hot. I I think. Dude, the airport gigs must be the worst. Oh, my God. They have like full concerts. There. They have full concerts. Imagine having to go through security to play like to airport security to play guitar at like a <laughs> bar in an airport. Yeah. That would be fucking. They dark. don't have like they don't have entrances for employees. Oh, the employees have to like show they still have to go through. Yeah. It's like doing stand up at a shoe store, dude. <laughs> <laughs> at a fucking coffee shop in Harlem. at 2 You did a Harlem Saturday. coffee shop? Yeah. How'd that go? I've done a couple of coffee shops. Not great. It was 2 p.m. on a Saturday. So it was just, you know. You did a black coffee shop? Yep. They didn't have What is the name of that business? The <laughs> wackest and whitest business. Down the street? What's it called? Coffee, hip hop, and mental health. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're down the street from a store called Coffee. Imagine how insufferable the owner of that has yeah, to be. Yeah, that's got to be a fucking nightmare. All right. I'm, I'm combining my three favorite things. That's got to be the dude that owns that, like, Jeffrey's coffee shop in. New York. What's Jeffrey's? Gregory's. Gregory's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate that logo. That mask. That so logo is him. Bald yeah, guys yeah. love yeah. making themselves yeah. Yeah. Glass. glass. Yeah. 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 Scott Van Pelt. His I logo. thought it was Vsauce. Michael here. Vsauce does it. Yep. Yeah. Every bald dude loves making themselves into logos. Yeah. yeah. They think they have the coolest silhouette. <laughs> Dude, yeah, your silhouette sucks. Hand me a compass. Let me make this logo. Yeah. Your silhouette sucks. Bro, I'll unlock your iPhone with a fucking hard boiled egg. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's fuck all guys with glass. Yeah. <laughs> fuck your silhouette, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck Holy off, you shit. spear. <laughs> dude, those guys yeah. roll over in bed and they just go until they hit the ground. <laughs> just can't nothing stopping them. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got a cool ass silhouette. I love my silhouette. You like your silhouette? I catch my I catch my silhouette sometimes, and I'm like, God damn, dude, my forehead goes like backwards. I have a caveman forehead. I think really, yeah. Now you got definitely got a cool ass silhouette. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. No, I, I, you're I, like I, what Gregory wants to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> you're like literally like Gregory sees you in his dreams. So he wants hair. Yes. <laughs> yes. All bald men, want dude. Hair. Yeah, I guess like I'm I'm just uh, I'm hair away from being one of those. We're changing the anus logo if I'm ever bald perfect we tried to convince nikki smokes to be a silhouette for halloween oh yeah he was like i'm not that retarded we wanted him to go as a shadow <laughs> <laughs> dude just go as a sh- go as my shadow for halloween and lay on the ground <laughs> just fully black clemmer admitted to doing uh, being black he admitted to he said he yeah, went out of the clemmer oh yeah hole. he was like oh i well yeah i used to go play in of a pile of coal and rub it on my face no, yeah, that sounds up. standard for Cle- for Clemmer's age. Yeah, you're right. That's that like all there was to do for fun back then, which yeah, is just like a pile of coal. Yeah. yeah. Dude, blackface was like... Clemmer was doing blackface back when it was like used in musical theater. Yeah. Because they didn't. Yeah, like it was Dorothy, only white His dudes. first yeah. improv class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking black. Uh, J- Josh Dobbs. What about Josh just Dobbs? Let me say. Alopecia. He uh, interned with NASA while he played for the Jaguars. Really? Dude. Kyle's in Holy, football now. I found. Now, now I've heard. Ryan Leaf. Bust. I knew he was a bust, but if you don't know him or you want to learn more, go to his, his Wikipedia is the best thing of all time. Start with early life and just read it in sequential. Sequential order. Sequence. In sequence. It's amazing. What about what? Like, can you give us a teaser? Or no spoilers. No, it's just a great read. Okay. Wikipedia is the best. Oh, my God. What <laughs> a weird is that? one. This is a fucking crazy place. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're in an office built for 11 people, and there's like 55 yeah. of us now. I found a wrestling tournament that has a 30-plus division. Come on, Kyle. you got to Senior level. 
You, you got to do, do it. So it has an open division yeah. and then a seniors division for 30 plus. Seniors? So the 28-year-olds can do open division. And then there's an extra <laughs> senior level. And it's in April. Is there a cutoff age? And I think yeah. I'm going to do it. Are you going to wrestle yes. like 55-year-olds? It's dude? in Westerville, Ohio. Guess uh. what the name of it is? It's called the Wrestle for Autism Invitation. No, <laughs> Wrestle Against Autism oh, Invitation. Shit. Oh, dude, you're the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> you do that every day. Bro, see, dude, bro, you, bro the you're the nether dragon. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the bracket. Wrestle Against yeah. Autism? Wrestle, let me find. Is that like a bunch of autistic dudes who are like... I think it's a charity, Your five best versus our five yeah. best. Oh, I would not want that static. No. No. Yeah, 14th like annual like wrestle against autism. I, I, it's not even an invitation. We'll just wrestle against autism. Are you, please do it. I'll go. I'll go I, think I, I think I'm going to do it. Westerville, Ohio. I, is that outside of Columbus? Yeah, right outside of Columbus. When is it? April. Please do it. I'll go. Yeah. We'll get a bunch of people to go. I would I love to go. I'd love to pull up. So the weight class is 155 and 170. It's like neither... What, what if I cut right a now? bunch of weight for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like torturing yourself. <laughs> what are you now? 65? 165? Like 67, 68. Cut, cut weight to... I'm going to cut to 55. No, I'm going to cut to 38. <laughs> oh my, could you? <laughs> uh, probably not. I could probably do 44, but I would be dead. Yeah. And I want to do that in the... Uh, what the hell? I could tell you're kind of excited for this. 45. There was uh, two... <laughs> It was a round robin with three guys. And I'm guessing there's trophies. So you'll get a trophy. Clay Burkle. Oh my ever, God. Could you beat him? Jesse Lang. What does the trophy say? <laughs> autism <laughs> champion? Yeah. <laughs> I beat autism. Yeah. I just need that, like that. Yeah, award. it's a big yeah. golden puzzle piece. Yeah. <laughs> like Wimbledon. <laughs> that would be hype. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wrestle against autism you think there's going to be some old heads in there if it's senior to, yeah it's 30 like, plus yeah. yeah that's like a party it's ending a question mark yeah old. <laughs> yeah you're like right on the now 30 is pretty young for for the senior title yeah that's tough i know it's way too young you probably win you could probably just lie to say you're 28 i have been thinking a lot about my own potential autism i don't think you're autistic I think you're too social. What do you guys think I might be? No, a lot no. of people say it. A lot of people, but like people love used just to be, handing out autism. It used to be a joke, but now I'm like, yeah, m maybe. <laughs> you know, and that kind of like it makes me think back to the my whole life. Like I could have used that in many situations. How so? I mean, I think you're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh. I mean, he could be at like the CIA. Yeah. You guys, there's a chance. You guys can agree that there is a decent chance that I am. <laughs> that well, I could have gotten with SAS. <laughs> that I could have gotten a diagnosis. Hey, you answer the question, pal. I have no idea. I probably no, got dude, a little I think bit you're way me. too social. You're way too like good in social situations. We like to joke, but I don't think so. I mean, KB, you've diagnosed autistic kids. Do you think you would have passed? That's what I think about a lot. Because I can't really remember being two, <laughs> but I can remember being three and four. I can't remember being three and four, what? but there is footage of me at three and four <laughs> and very limited. And I'll have to show you guys in private because I don't want to blast <laughs> this out. The only footage of me being three or four is at the preschool graduation yeah. where we all stand. <laughs> I might tear up. We all stand <laughs> on the stage in a line facing the crowd. Yeah. And there's, there's pictures and videos. Everyone's standing, smiling. Laughing, maybe giggling, having a blast, looking at their loved ones in the crowd, facing straight. <laughs> I'm on the end. I'm the caboose. I'm moping and my head's down. That's one thing. But I'm perpendicular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm facing them. <laughs> and I, I harbored this for a long time. I used to lean. Yeah, I think I would have gotten... Right. The diagnosis. Then and there, they would have diagnosed And that would have changed the trajectory of my life. For just being sad life. at your graduation? I couldn't bear to face the crowd. Everyone was facing. I couldn't stand in the line. I had to face <laughs> you. Like you'd be facing the crowd, waving at your mom. And, you'd be, and I was just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't think that's I that crazy. Yeah, kids are shy. That, that's not a huge thing. Yeah, but I was viciously shy. And I was like, oh, you're just shy. So, 
I'm a big believer in you can just beat the autism out of someone. Yeah, you can bully it out. <laughs> Me too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think on like the, the not like side, physically. When, when did this surface? When did you find this video? Because I've known about it for years. My mom never... found an old video of me because she was like going through old like she was doing some cleaning and looking at cassettes and she found an old skate tape I made in like eighth grade, maybe ninth grade. I have one yeah. too. And it's just like me manualing for like half a second over and over for, for the length <laughs> Dude, of the song mine's, mine's Victim by too. 18 Visions. <laughs> so it was just like me manually to this. Yeah. <laughs> just like oh. little manuals. And I, it's this most pathetic, sad thing ever. I've got a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. I've got Call of Duty edits that I made. No, yeah. oh, okay. I'm and no And it's, way. it's not even like screen grabs. It's like me, like filming it on my mom's iPad, like filming the TV <laughs> of like replays with like commentary over them. <laughs> Please find yeah. us. Yeah, I got, I got I probably on YouTube. Well, let's all find. Some I have a similar graduation, uh, my safety town graduation. Oh, I remember that at the wellness center. At yeah. the wellness center, you had to just go drive the big wheel. They were teaching us how to drive. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <and> like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, I pretty old. much my graduation was pretty much similar to that, except I was graduating from high school. <laughs> 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 like I pretty Wait, much yeah, did that. Yeah. You, uh, yeah, you. Uh, I, but I don't get autism. Like I'm just super you. uncomfortable. Yeah. And so I didn't go to you like are. Yeah. I didn't go to my college graduation. Yeah, I just finished class and went home. Like everyone in high school graduation, everyone does like a fucking like crazy thing. And I just grabbed the the, the diploma and just like jetted across. Yeah. The Wait, yes, that's you. <laughs> You, uh -oh. you are <laughs> atrocious in social. Yeah, you so really <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am, dude. Oh, I'm like yeah. atrocious, like just like going into like places that I go every day and seeing people for the first like hour. Yeah. I dread walking into the office and yeah. walking past people. Morning guys. I'm so, I hate, uh, I catch myself making like the mincy, like, <laughs> so here's the, yeah, here's They'll the deal. They'll just walk around and yeah, yeah. be like an excited When shot. I walk into the stand at like 7 PM, <laughs> I, people are like, Hey, how's it going? And I'm like, yeah. That's why I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but then do you like nah. do you like clench your teeth and you're just like, why did I like? And then I go into the bathroom and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? Yeah. With me? Yep. Do you actually? Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, I think some I like people think, think about like, it while yeah. I'm walking there. Yeah, some people might like think perceive it as an air of superiority. Yeah, but I know you, and I know that's not the case. Yeah. Oh no, some people like like a lot of people like when I meet them. They'll tell me a while after they're like, yeah, I thought you were an asshole when I first met you because like you were like wouldn't talk to anybody or everyone. Th people think I'm like weird. Yeah, same. In, my, in our heads, we're like, oh, I want it so bad. To <laughs> yeah, so yeah. bad to, to just say hi. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, say to, hello. Go to the bathroom. Yeah. Why didn't I say hi? Yeah. <laughs> just say hi. <laughs> say, hey, what's up? Look them in the eyes. Yep. Yeah. Dap That's them up all clean. You have to do. Yeah, but guys like us say like we were born a few years ago. And some dickhead, like, 24-year-old me comes into our house, observes oh, yeah. us, and then we we could have easily gotten a autism diagnosis. But what... And then what that would have done to our psyche... Yeah. If we had that label, like, it could be... Like, I, would, I don't know where I'd be. I don't think you'd be here. Right. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be able to do that. I mean, I kind of... I, I, like, missed even just, like... I, had, I got I diagnosed with... ADD when I was in fifth grade and like that was not a big deal at all and now it's like pretty much down oh, syndrome that's, yeah oh, I thought that was going the opposite way. No. I thought yeah I thought, that's like crazy now now like, everyone's like dude like my ADD is destroying my life yeah oh, my and it's like God. is it but everybody's like I was medicated heavily since first grade it was like yeah good yeah, I was. That was pretty bad. That's, was it bad? Yeah, that should not be a thing. It wow. I think Adderall can fuck yeah. Oh, is it, up, is it Adderall it they give you as yeah. a kid? I took Adderall, I Vyvanse. What but I thought it did the opposite effect if you had ADD. No, I thought like Ritalin calmed you down. It myth. calmed me down, but I made it so I couldn't talk to anybody. Yeah, you turned into a zombie. And I was oh, like, that I sucks. Can't. My doctor like, tried do to put this. me on antidepressants on top of Adderall when I was like, 13 you just probably to mellow were, you out yeah you probably Jesus were motionless Christ. yeah yeah you were you're just such a complete zombie yeah i did it for a week in in freshman year of high school and i, yeah. like, I can't do this that i need to that talk. might have lasting effects dude yeah oh, that was crazy yeah. too because then i was like 115 pounds in like ninth grade yeah and, and then you I can't like, eat yeah you can't eat the problem is i think that they just over they they give you they didn't get the dosage right no so you would be a tiny like kid yeah and you'd be taking just like a macro dose of Amphetamines. Yeah. So, like, as an adult, it doesn't hit you as hard. 
Yeah, and also just giving kids that shit when they're so young is insane because it's like my parents made me do it because they were like, well, he doesn't focus in school. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I don't focus in school because I don't want to be here. Yeah. yeah. Fucking and sucks. then I then I would take Adderall and I would just focus more on other things that weren't school. That's not school. Yeah, you yeah. just draw a million of the S thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would, dude, my binders were just filled with my, like the whole outside of my binders, every single one of them was just filled with my signature. I would just write my signature like dude, a thousand I would, times. I would, I would, yeah. Yeah. I would do right lower, I, I, for, for some reason, reason i thought drawing lowercase f's in cursive was oh like yeah fun. yeah i thought it was like oh, I th- yeah. it was like a joyride for me it was like uh i was i might as well have been playing gta and i was just doing fucking lowercase f's over and over and over in my book that's my notebook right now all lowercase f's no just my name okay yeah dude <laughs> yeah Mook. people talk shit on cursive it's fun the so it is satisfying. so fun and satisfying mm-hmm. it's like better than like hunting deer <laughs> yeah, dude. That's I would put it. I would put it. Up There's so many fun letters. Yeah, that's not like the whole alphabet. I don't like having to lift the pen to dot and I. Like oh, fuck a tittle. Hunting I don't like. Sucks. I don't like lifting the pen. Yeah. The capital L is great. Capital, capital L, L is and great. the capital oh my S. God. I'll capital go, S is I'll go the best. crazy with yeah, my capital K S. I'll like flourish the fuck out of it. Yeah. Like, K's are nice. It, it's like playing roller coaster tycoon when I'm writing in cursive because I'm like yeah. building these things and it's. Yo, just, the lowercase J, all the love. <laughs> all the love to J. Um, mm-hmm. Ends or whatever. Uh, the uppercase Q, they got a little too wacky with that. Yeah, R, R is fun. Too. Lowercase R is fun. What's the most fun yeah. word to I could like, write in cursive? Is it jello? That would be the most fun oh. ride. Oh my god! If that if Jello was a, a curse of Jello, Jello was a roller coaster, gelato. would be a blast. That's yeah, a G. Jello's though. great. I think Jello's. Choo, choo. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, Jello's a solid one. Yeah, there's no. We don't have to lift the pen at all. No. Well, dot. No, there is no dot. Dot the J. The, anything with double L's. Oh, but capital fantastic. J. Yeah, capital J Jello. Capital J is nice. Dude, yeah, mm. do a Jello sesh. It's so fun. Yeah, this is so autistic right now. Shit. I was uh I was out at dinner. Uh, with somebody and they called me out for just I was going like this and they looked down and they're like what are you doing I was like I don't know they said, <laughs> they said it was autistic but I just liked the feeling of my pants you always have though <laughs> yeah, that's good. fine I, yeah I don't my yeah. pants have interesting that textures nerves yeah I think it might have been nerves not autism I bet you a lot yeah I think yours is just nerves social anxiety I think that's what it is yours too yeah I'm trying to think what <laughs> You're flirting with it, though. Perhaps. I think, you, I think you flirted with it, but I don't think you crossed the barrier. <laughs> yeah, you were teasing it. Yeah. Well, I have, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Anything yeah. else? Uh, no, I guess we got to go do the yak. Right? We got to go do the yeah, yak yeah. in 15. But we got to go hacky sack in four. Fuck. Shit. I'm going to miss the sack. Anything else, Mookie? No. No. We're chilling. Uh, this will come out tomorrow. So go see Mook and Sass. You have one so- show that's not sold out? Yes, in Rosemont, Illinois. Oh, I thought it was at the Zanies here. It's the one closer to the airport. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Go see go see that. Uh thanks for coming on, Sass. Thank you for having me. Uh yeah, thanks, God Sass. bless. Yeah. God bless. God bless. Uh, nice. Oh well, we pointed at each other. That was fucking nice. Dude, I love-